welcome back and in this section what we are going to do is find all the movies and extract their plots all the movies from 2005 to 2021 and the code is nothing new you have seen this code already which is given a year's url you are going to extract all the movies and the corresponding titles so movie urls and corresponding titles this is a code that we have already developed in the previous section let's just run this and for example you can give any year let's say 2021 and get all the movie urls from this year let's just run this and you can see it returns two things one is the movie urls and the titles uh, here you have titles as well as the movie urls all we are doing is from this page we are extracting all these titles as well as the corresponding movie url that's exactly what we have done here and what do we need to do next simply we need to run this across all the years from 2005 to 2021 collect all the movie names and their corresponding urls in a data frame and that's it we are done with our job now this is the function that we are going to run basically movie page links has all the urls for each year so 17 items from 2005 to 2021 it will go through each year and from each year we are going to extract the movie links as well as titles and we are going to append that to total number of titles and total number of movies that we are maintaining so we go through each year and append that to the all movie links and all movie titles let's just run this you can see that we extracted almost 4062 movie urls as well as their corresponding titles from this you know that we just extracted the movie titles and their urls but there is one more step which is from every url you need to extract the plot and that's what we are going to do in this section and this is the same code that we have seen already which is get all the paragraphs underneath the plot h2 element and append it to the plot text now some of them might not have this format so they might fail so instead of failing in the middle we are just making sure we are keeping that in a try except block so if any of the movies do not have that we are just ignoring that and returning none instead of returning the actual plot if any of the movie urls error out and we will ignore those movie urls if they error out because you need to understand that all the wikipedia pages are not made uniformly maybe some of them made some formatting errors etc that's why this might fail for some movies but anyways here we are going through all movie links and their corresponding titles and we are going to get the plot and if the plot is not none we are going to append our movie name movie url and the plot to this final data let's run this it might take some time finally it took about uh, an hour to finish if you want you can actually do parallel processing because uh, these are independent tasks where you are scraping independent uh, web pages and as you can see we collected these uh, triplets of movie name movie url and plot as you can see an example white noise and the wikipedia link and the plot so we collected these things and appended to final data and uh, all in all we see about uh, 3409 items because uh, some might have errored out so essentially there are about 3409 items finally so we need to store this into a data frame so that we can use it later anytime so what i'm going to do is to connect to google drive so the first time you are doing this you will ask you will be asked to connect to google drive and i am allowing and giving my drives permission now this is connected to my google drive and 
create this path if it doesn't exist in your drive because we are going to do most of the things in the same path which is go to your root folder and uh, create this folder first practical introduction to NLP course and then create module 1 folder you don't need to actually create uh, this file name it's going to get created once we run this and we are going to store all the movie plots that we collected on here just run these cells as you can see we have movie name wikipedia link and plot all of these things i'm just showing 10 but uh, you can uh, easily see how many movies we have in total with df dot shape so almost 3409 movie plots with these three columns and we are going to save this in the same path that we created and if you go to your drive folder and just refresh you will see that uh, we created this file csv file uh, so we stored the data frame in here and we can use this later for everything that we do similarity finding or visualization etc we have successfully collected uh, our movie names and movie plots so in short what we did was we collected every year's movie page so for example from 2005 to 2021 we collected the URL of every year's page and from that page we extracted only the movies that are released in that year so from this table we collected all these movies and the corresponding links and what we did was we went into every movie and again collected its plot uh, as you have seen we have iterated through the paragraph element until finished underneath this h2 element of plot so that's what we have done and we have collected almost 3400 plus movie names their urls and their movie plots we are going to use this as our data set and as you can see we have used beautiful soup so we have done everything with coding because wikipedia is uh, a static web page we can easily parse it without any problem and in the next section we will see how we can actually parse data from websites without using any code so we'll use a no code tool called as parseb and we'll parse the data and collect it into similar CSV style fashion. I'll see you in the next section.